In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use a wobbler edge finder to set a part zero to the center of this plate. It's not too hard to do. A lot of you guys might have done it in trade school, but if you've never done it before, this machine doesn't have any probes or anything fun like that, so I figured I'd just recap how to do this. The very first thing we need to do is get the tool into the spindle. So, to do that, I'm going to use MDI, so over on the control, on my old 1998 Fanuc, it's right there. Uh, now I've got to type in what I want to do, so I'm going to call T, in this case I've got mine loaded in T14, M6, and I'm going to hit end of line right there. And then I have to insert that into the program, so when I hit cycle start down here, it runs. So. All right, now to use a wobbler, what you need to do is put your spindle at about 1000 RPM. Now you could manually do this using the manual controls, but as always on CNC, it's easier to just tell it exactly what we want to do. S1000 and insert. And now when I press uh, my manual spindle on it, it'll be at 1000 RPM. So what I'm gonna do is start by finding my X position. So I'm going to set my wobbler at one edge, zero it out, and then I'm going to go to the other edge. So using my manual mode on my machine, I'm going to drop this down, and we're going to, going to go to approximately the middle. Again, you know, this, this part doesn't really matter too much. I'm going to press on my control, I'm going to press my spindle button, and you see that my spindle is now at 1000 RPM, back to the part. You see, the bottom part of this is wobbling around, and so as we jog ourselves over in the X, I might need to drop my Z down a little bit. I want that bottom part to touch on there. There we go. As I jog over in the X, as soon as it makes contact, you might hear it, hear it hitting the edge just a little bit, but you'll see it snap into position right when I get it perfect. Now if I go too far, you'll see it pop out. So I'm just going to back up a few. There we go. All right. So this position right here is right at the middle of my X. Now, if I were going to set my zero off of this edge, I would have to offset this by 100 thou because this bottom uh, diameter right here is 200 thou. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use it to find the middle. So let's go back to the control and I'm going to go to uh, my settings over here, number three, page down. I'm going to go to my work offset, and in this case, I'm going to be adjusting offset number one, which is G54. So I'm going to come over here, bring up my little keyboard, hit X zero, and measure that position. There you go. Now you see that that's changed. Now. What you can do is you could make sure that you're in G54 so we know where we're at. You can come over here to menu, uh, I'm sorry, to MDI. Let's go to our program and we could just make sure that we're in G54. Now, in my case, I actually already am. You could see it's modal, but this is how you would do it if it wasn't in press cycle start to do that. Now you see my positions updated now. So now back at the Back on the manual control here, I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to quickly get over to my X axis. There we go. Drop it down again. Now, you have two things you can do. You can either just run it in until it wobbles off center and then back it off, or you can give it a little tap to put it off center. Again, we'll just watch that as I walk in. Okay, we'll call that good. Now, we are going to need to do some math. So, our old position in machine coordinates was 15.5645. We're currently at 5.1954. So, what we, would, what we need to do is subtract 
5.1954 from our 15.5654. Divide that by two, because that'll give us the middle position, and then we either subtract that from 15 or add that to five. So if you watch the bottom of your screen, you should see the math equation. I'm gonna pause the video while I figure it out myself. If you figured out that the answer was 10.3804, congratulations, you're quick with math. I just typed in that number down at the bottom and I'm going to say that I want to input this so that I'll overwrite that value right there. Now, we could test if this is correct by doing a quick visual inspection. So, let's go watch. Um, I'm going to hit reset. And now we're going to jog up in the Z. Oops, let's do this a little faster. And I'm going to go over in my X See if we can see those numbers roll. All right. And you can see that put us right at the middle. Now I'm gonna go do the same thing for the Y and I'll be right back. Doing the same thing on the Y axis gives me a value of four negative 4.6891. So I'm going to type that in. I'm going to input that into that field. There we go. And now again, I'm going to press reset. Here, let's go look at that. Up in the Z we go. And jog this until the relative position says zero. It should be right at the middle of the plate. Now, if you're wondering where those numbers came from for both the X and the Y, because I measured here to here, the this would be the length of the plate, but you would have to add an extra 200 thou because the center line of this wobbler was on either side, so it was offset by that 100 thou. Same thing with the Y axis, of course. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to set your Z axis now that we have all of our tools set up off of the spindle nose, we could use that same spindle nose to set our Z position, and then all of our tools will be set up correctly to work on this workpiece.